guys, it's WOW World Champion Tessa Blanchard. You can catch us on Access TV, and right now you're listening to The Big Gold Belt. All right, all right. We look like we're all ready to go. Hey, we're all live here at San Diego Comic Con 2019. We're at booth 1901, which is the Head Loss pre Presents Wild Woman of Wrestling. And oh man, this is a very special moment here right now. And I'm with no other than my guy right here. Hold it, hold it, hold it. Just because there's a break, I'm going to also have you get a little something with the world champ, Tessa we'll do that. Blanchard. We can do that. We're going to interrupt one second. This is live TV. Come here. Here's the champ, Tessa <laughs> the Blanchard. Champ, Tessa Blanchard. How do you like that? All right. Oh, oh yeah. Get that the in there. The wild championship belt. That is awesome. Now, this is regular like live TV for you now. <laughs> I didn't know I was getting all that, yes. but I prepared for it. Oh, boy. How's it going? It's going great. How's the con been? I heard you just rushed in town. Just got here. I was in Mexico and then straight to Canada and straight to here. Oh, man. We appreciate the, well, appreciate the dedication. And um, I know you got to get back to some signs. But maybe we'll chat with you a little bit. All after. right. Here she goes. <laughs> the champ, Tessa Blanchard. Here, but I'm with the guy, the mastermind right here. And, and and before I even goes into the question, I gotta say, everything that Wow and Glow represents is powerful. And it's powerful because it has its fan base, it has a nostalgia behind it. But yesterday, what really, really got me is that when you see one of your actresses from the show Glow on Netflix on the Entertainment Weekly panel for women that kiss ass that's right there's monumental because now the recognition is going beyond just women in wrestling but they're letting it know they're making it very 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 important and evident to all the fans out there that these women out here are forced to be reckoned with and you are one of the pioneers behind that well, i just got to give you your props for that, that thank you thank you right on. i appreciate it but i gotta tell you it's the women in the ring that make it all happen I just had a vision because I was lucky and grew up as a kid in wrestling since I was 13 years old. So I got exposed to women weren't treated correctly. Absolutely. And there was something wrong with it. But I wasn't smart enough to just say, how do you do this? What? It was just a passion to see them put in a plateau where they can perform and have an opportunity to be on a stage similar to the men. And what's just happened is, and I really give credit to people like Ronda Rousey who break through ceilings, it's been, you said, recognized now. But it was always there. It's just like it's taken 30 years now oh, yeah. for people to finally say, okay, Tessa Blanchard's a super athlete and she deserves the same stage as the men. That's so right. it's nice to see it's been a 30 year journey and we definitely aren't done yet. That's right, that's right. Speaking of not done yet, season three of GLOW is on the way with Netflix. Yes, it I, is. I'm very excited for it. I don't know if you could talk anything about it, but I will ask you this, for starters, how has the process been working with Netflix and the creative freedom that they have given you guys well, with this project? Well, I personally don't work with Netflix because I sold GLOW okay. uh, at, way back in the day. Okay, right. And they adapted the GLOW from the current owner that right. owns the trademark from it. And I think they did a masterful job right, right. of showcasing the performers love for wrestling and the sisterhood of those women mm -hmm. that join forces mm -hmm. to get into that ring and do this wild crazy sport of professional wrestling yeah but this season's Netflix for anyone that hasn't been reading trades they're going to Las Vegas mm -hmm. which is where we formed it and mm -hmm. made it happen so I'm really looking forward to that. But remember, what you see is not always the truth. We didn't have any little robots dispensing drugs, and no one was doing coke. I don't. I, I used to drink a lot of Heineken beer back then, but I only drink wine now. I don't even drink beer. But so it's not all truthful. It is an entertaining television show on Netflix. But. Glow was then, WOW is now. Oh, right And on. the WOW women of wrestling are performing in Los Angeles on September 18th and 19th downtown at the That's Belasco right. Theater. Yep. Tessa Blanchard's there. The Beast is going to be there. Uh, Voodoo Doll is going to be there. Fire is going to be there. Adrenaline. Uh, Fury. Uh, Havoc. Fury. 
They're all going to be in that ring. Over 35 of the best women wrestlers in the entire country will be in Los Angeles on September 18th and 19th at the Belasco. Tickets are only 30 bucks, with some, scene. just some, VIP seats still mm -hmm. available for 125 where you get a meet and greet and have cocktails with some of the wrestlers before the event. Mm, that sounds good that's to me. That's the ticket. Uh, that, that's sounds the like, ticket. that sounds like the way to go there. Can you talk a little bit about the recruiting process for you? Again, Thirty. that, that roster is stacked. <laughs> we, we, we have a unique situation. There's a lot of independent women wrestlers out there in the marketplace yep. today. Yep. Several sign with the organizations. Yep. Like, you couldn't get on our events... Um, Charlotte Flair yeah. because she WWE. signed at yep. WWE mm -hmm. and certain performers are independent. We're lucky we have Tessa Blanchard because Impact Wrestling permits us to have her and yep. vice versa mm -hmm. and it's a great relationship there. Mm -hmm. So we're thankful for that and the winners are the fans because they see her on multiple stages. Yep. Mm -hmm. But we have a unique situation in that WOW has its only, the only all women's training school in the country in Long Beach. There are training facilities, even Tessa learned in how to train to be a wrestler, but from guys. We have the only all women's training school. Tessa's one of the trainers with Selena Majors, and we have women in there learning to become wrestlers. Wow. So we have a unique situation in that we have our own homegrown wild superheroes with the best on in the independent wrestling circuit coming together, colliding, and making a big event that Access TV airs every Saturday night, eight o'clock, and then right. at, and then I think at ten or eleven is the rerun. Yep. Eight o'clock Eastern. Well, you're in New York, you know that. <laughs> eight o'clock Eastern. Now five I, Pacific. I've spoken a little bit to um, other wrestlers on your talent, and since we're here at Comic Con, I want to know what does it mean to you when you see little kids dressed up as cosplay as some of the characters on the show. Well, that. It, it, I'm not bull jiving. It brings a tear to your eye because that's what the idea was. I remember when we did Glow and we started, the one of the persons engaged came down on Saturday and we had they had Larry Holmes in a fight for boxing <laughs> back in the day and we had to move Glow to the convention center and they said, what are you doing? And I said, we got a hit, we got a hit. There's 2,000 extra people we can't even accommodate. And they go, yeah, but they're all kids. We want all guy gamblers, gamblers mm -hmm. for the casino. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The goal was always to make it a family presentation. Yeah. And that's what WOW is. Yep. And WOW has the ability to get women viewers, and kids yeah. that some of the other wrestling companies don't have. Yeah. And it's family friendly, and you'll see it on this season on Access TV that's on Saturdays, as I mentioned, all the kids that come to the WOW events, it's mm -hmm. amazing. It's a throwback to the old days Absolutely. of wrestling, yeah. how I like to see it. Yeah, yeah. I think one of the biggest challenges and stigmas right now is the fact that we look over at Tessa Blanchard, that's a wrestler to me. Yes. Somebody's gonna come over here and say, oh, you're a great women's wrestler. We know that stigma's out there for you, but you guys are tackling it on all levels. What more do we need to do going into the future to make sure that this stigma no longer exists? I think it's all in time. I, I, I time, time, time. Um, it's time. Every progress you've seen, I, I, I don't know the exact date, so don't hold them to me, <laughs> but I don't think women were allowed to vote till 1964. I don't think women were allowed to have a credit card until 1974 without their husband's co-signing. Yeah, yeah. I don't think um, a man could marry a guy and a girl a girl yeah. until what, the last two years? Yeah, yeah. So things are progressing. They're moving forward. And I think that worldwide um, it's an advancement that's going to take time but I think programming like WOW where it's a by the way it's the only dedicated wrestling show on national television for women yep absolutely 100%. on the other they've got to share the stage yep. with the other male performers yep. so this is a dedicated one-hour program of the best women's wrestling on Access TV. That's what makes it special. And we'll have a part in growing it. 
But even, as I said earlier, the credit like to Ronda Rousey, the credit to WWE from shifting their direction from pillow matches mm -hmm. and oil, mm -hmm. everyone's catching up to what we've been doing. There's never been a revolution or an evolution with WOW. It's we've just, had a direction from day one and we're right. staying the course. That's right, that's right. So as we get closer to season three, is there anything that you may be able to tell us as far as surprises or anything? We do have a champion here. Maybe see further. There, and I cannot tell you, but Access TV is going to hold a big national press conference. And I can tell you last year when we announced that Tessa Blanchard was going to be in WOW, mm -hmm. it was Monumental. big, big oh, yeah. news. Yeah. We have two big announcements coming before our <laughs> September events at the Blasco. Access TV is going to have it on Facebook and everywhere. And I got to tell you, it's as big, if not bigger, than Tessa Blanchard. Oh, my God. And it's the, <laughs> the name will resonate with everyone in and outside of wrestling. Wow. Oh, I got and you got the scoop because nobody knows it's coming, but uh, I can't tell you uh, what it is, but it's coming. Oh, right. I, I, I think we may have to leave it right <laughs> there. Right? That is but that is that. Ooh, I got a few ideas, but we'll, we'll, we'll leave so it right fans, there. So fans, hashtag us, hashtag wild superheroes. Check us out on WOWE.com and watch us on Access TV on Saturday Night Slams. And you get a bonus you get New Japan Wrestling also. That's right, that's right. And well, they're badass. Yes, they are. Well, I appreciate you taking <laughs> time with me it. today, what buddy. A great day. I appreciate you And you have a good coming. rest of your car. No, no wow, doubt. women are wrestling. You heard it here.